The YF-23 Black Widow 2, with no question, was more capable than the F-22 Raptor after the competition. Winning the F-22 Raptor in, not only one, but almost all areas. Up to now there is no aircraft that can match the performance of the Black Widow. As countries race to produce their sixth-generation aircraft, many believe that the US could just bring back a modified version of YF-23 Black Widow 2 as its sixth-generation aircraft. This could be true given that recent it announced that it had built a new fighter jet within one year, which could be close to impossible, unless it was just a modification of an existing super aircraft like the Black Widow 2. The YF-23 is a single-seat, twin-engine stealth fighter aircraft technology demonstrator designed for the United States Air Force as a finalist in the U.S. Air Force Advanced Tactical Fighter Competition, battling the Lockheed YF-22 for a production contract. Two YF-23 prototypes were built, nicknamed Black Widow 2 and Grey Ghost. In the 1980s, the U.S. Air Force began looking for a replacement for its fighter aircraft, especially to counter the Soviet Union advanced Sukhoi Su-27 and Mikoyan MiG-29. Several companies submitted design proposals. The U.S. Air Force selected proposals from Northrop and Lockheed. Northrop teamed with McDonnell Douglas to develop the YF-23, while Lockheed, Boeing, and General Dynamics developed the YF-22. The YF-23 was stealthier and faster with a greater range twice that of its competitor, but less agile than its competitor. After a four-year development and evaluation process, the YF-22 was announced a winner in 1991 and entered production as the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. After the failure from the competition, the U.S. Navy considered using the production version of the ATF as the basis for a replacement to the F-14, but these plans were later cancelled. The two YF-23 prototypes are now currently museum exhibits. During developing a next-generation fighter, defense contractors take a look at the aircraft they want to eventually replace and build upon its strengths while mitigating weakness. Like for example in the case of the F-22, Lockheed Martin took a number of cues from the McDonnell Douglas F-15 CD. So it only makes sense that to develop the sixth generation of air superiority fighters, Northrop Grumman will look to their near-win candidate of the fifth generation, which is the YF-23 Black Widow in this case. The YF-23 was by all accounts a very capable aircraft, though the Air Force judged it to be a risky investment. It was stealthier than its competitor and could achieve higher speeds, especially while super cruising. The exact figures are still classified at the moment, but that should still give you an idea of what Northrop Grumman is capable of. Maneuverability was another issue that led the Air Force to choose the YF-22, which featured two-dimensional thrust vectoring giving it unparalleled supermaneuverability, a factor that gives the Raptor the edge in dogfighting. Northrop Grumman's next-generation tactical aircraft proposal could, therefore be very well reworking of the YF-23, with newer computers and more advanced weapon systems, stealthier skins and powerful engines. With time just as we're about ready to give up on close-in dogfighting, it becomes all the more relevant. So multi-dimensional thrust vectoring might just be another capability of the proposal. In addition Northrop Grumman is exploring a tailless design. And this is not a big thread to the company given that the YF-23 had its tail retractable to a tailless version. The version of the YF-23 could have the possibility of fielding optionally manned fighters as well. It could also be made more capable by putting directed energy weaponry like lasers on these aircraft, making it not only dangerous, but lethal to come across. However all the decision of which fighter aircraft that will come after the F-22 Raptor are made by the US Air Force, but do not be surprised if the YF-23 looks similar to any of the aircraft that will be brought as the sixth-generation fighter aircraft.